Hey friends, welcome. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make some lollipop flowers. Now, I saw this idea a few years ago, actually, um, on a video by um, a lady named um, Whitney. And she has a channel called Whitney Sews. And she was showing how to make these uh, lollipop flowers, and I thought they were so neat. And here are a few that I've made, and I'm going to do uh, do one today. And the fabric that you want to use is a satin. It's a, uh, anything that will melt you can use for these. But satin seems to, you know, work out really well. And then I have some buttons that I just picked up. Uh, uh, a few of them might have come from Michael's or Hobby Lobby or something, but... I got the most of these at a flea market um, ages ago. Um, a lot of my stuff is that I have is older stuff. I've had it for ages, and I want to try to use some of it up. Then you're going to um, need some scissors, good fabric scissors. Um, and I'm going to use Fabri-Tac today, but you guys can use hot glue if you want um, to glue these together. And then I'm going to be using a candle or you can just use a lighter, but um, I like the smell of this candle, and so, oh my, my lighter is, oh, well, hold on just a second, I'll be right back. Okay, sorry about that, I had to go grab some matches. Um, now, as I said, you can use a, uh, just a lighter if you want. For this, but I'm going to do the candle today. All right. Now, guys, you've got to be careful um, to not get burned. That's the most important thing. Okay, I'll lay these matches over to the side here. Set the candle over. All right. Now, to get started with this, you can see these are uh, made in layers, okay? And this one here, I've actually glued two buttons on there. Um, and then on the back, I put a piece of felt to just cover up uh, any stitching that you might do, like I stitched these buttons on. Um, but all of these, I put a little piece of felt on, on the back there to just... Uh, to just fancy it up a little bit so there are those okay you do not have to have a pattern for this you just start with your fabric and you want to cut out a piece about as big as whatever you want your flower to be you know if you want it that big if you want it this big how you know however okay so i'm just going to start here this does not have to be uh, anything that's perfectly straight, um, cut straight, or whatever. Um, okay. I'll trim a little bit of that off, but you don't have to. Because um, by the time this is melted, you are not going to ever know. Okay, and then your next layers... Each one gets smaller, okay? So, when I get that done, and I get um, all my layers progressively smaller than the one before it, uh, I'll come back and I'll show you what we do next. Let's see, we need one more piece, I think, in between this piece and this one. Maybe I can get that about right, just by I'm kind of guessing at it. Okay. Let's see how that, yep, that'll, that should. And if you need more layers once you get going with this, you can always add a layer in between something if it doesn't look um, full enough. So, um, and I'm, I'll link, um, 
Whitney's channel below. She has some really nice videos, really good stuff um, on, on how to sew um, for beginners and just, um, uh, she's a she's a great gal, so um, go check her out. Um, as I said, I'll link it below this video in the description box. So here we go. Um, if you have a lighter, you just light it up and you're just gonna melt these edges. So just hold that over the heat a little bit and see how that melts, okay? Just like that. And just be careful now that you um, don't get the center of your uh, petal over the flame because it will melt. Uh, make sure, you know, you, you like come in from the side because um, you don't want to melt, you know, you don't want a hole in your flower. Although in nature they do appear, don't they? So, okay. We're just going to do this to all of them. And see how that curls? I think it's so neat. I just, I love that. Love that look. Okay. As you work with these, if you need to add a petal or take it away, or a layer, I guess you should say. Um, Got to answer my phone, guys. I'll be right back. Sorry. All right, guys. That was my hubby calling. So let's get back to our little project here. Just about did it again, guys. Okay. Now, if you want to, um, you can use some tweezers. When these pieces start getting pretty small, just get you some tweezers and hold your, uh, your, um, little pieces of fabric over this flame because you don't want to get burned. See, I got burned a little bit there myself. But my hands are pretty tough. I, over the years, I've done a lot of crafting. And, okay, I'm going to set that aside and just let it burn. Pick a couple of strings out of here. All right, so there we have it. I think that is so pretty. Just look at that. You can arrange these however you want. Now, we are gonna start um, gluing these together. And all I do is put a little bit of Fabri-Tac or, or hot glue or something. Oh goodness. My glue bottle is all all clogged up here. Okay, let's see. Are you going to come out now? Yeah. Doesn't take much. Let's see. Let's lay that down that way. Alrighty. Okay, let's keep going. Put us a little bit of glue on here. Just kind of work with these and, and fix them however they look good to you. You guys can make as many layers of these as you want, of course. You don't have to do just 10 or 8 or whatever. Just, just whatever ends up looking nice and full. Just want to look full. So for a smaller one, you probably wouldn't even have to have uh, nearly that many. There we go. Okay. A little bit more here. Oh, there it came out. I think it's trying to clog on me again, this glue bottle. Actually, I think a big clump came out. That was a problem. Okay. Oops. Alrighty. This last one. Okay. Alright. 
now that looks really pretty. It's going to take this glue a little bit to dry, of course, an hour or two. Um, but it's tacky enough. It, you can still work with it. Okay, now let's find a pretty button for the center of this. These buttons here are plastic. They're not metal. And um, what you're going to want to do, if you have a button with the shank on it, you're going to want to cut that off. So let's see here. Um, if I can find something that doesn't doesn't have that, that is actually too big. We might end up having to go with something else. Um, that would be really pretty. Okay, so let me go over here, and uh, you can take an old pair of scissors, or you can take uh, wire cutters, um, and you can clip the shank off. So let me do that, and um, I'll be right back. All right, guys. I, uh, I clipped that shank off the back of that button. We're just going to glue, glue this down now. Doesn't take a whole lot of glue for that either. And just get that centered right in, inside there, just like that. Just move it wherever you want it. Okay, guys, so there's your flower. That is a lollipop flower. Um, that I learned how to make from Whitney Sews. Thought I would share it with you guys today. Look up her channel. Um, she's got a lot of good stuff on there, as I said. And so, um, that'll wrap it up for this video. Um, now, the only thing I will tell you before I go, that all you have to do is, um, if you want, put you a piece of um, felt on the back. Just glue it on with your Fabri-Tac. And you're all finished. And these are great for headbands, um, embellishing anything, whatever you want um, in your crafts, whatever you want to use them for. So, alrighty, um, I will catch you guys in the next one. So until next time, you guys be blessed. Happy trails.